My name is Kabela Makwane. I'm the managing exec responsible for cloud hosting and security in Vodacom Business. Vodacom Business has developed a comprehensive uh, managed security services approach. Our security services coupled with our professional services and advisory services adopts a defense in-depth approach. We are able to cater for small enterprises as well as large enterprises in offering them either point solutions or a comprehensive uh, security framework and end-to-end -end security uh, infrastructure across all of their needs to support users working remotely in the office and who are mobile. We have developed uh, significant capability in our security operations center and are able to offer cyber intelligence. At the same time, we are able to continuously uh, test the security uh, vulnerabilities through our proactive penetration testing uh, capabilities. Organizations who have adopted hybrid remote work can rest assured in that we are able to span the spectrum from network security in providing virtual private networks, uh, secure connections with encryption to uh, application security, content filtering and content management services as part of our comprehensive uh, portfolio. Vodacom Business has deployed a multi-cloud capability. We look to leverage the leading top cloud providers and uh, platform providers uh, from a global perspective. Our multi-cloud capability enables us to also look to leverage native cl cloud security uh, features and services which are already embedded in most uh, hyperscale cloud environments. These, among others, include uh, native DDoS uh, capabilities, web firewalls uh, that are already embedded in cloud platforms, identity and access management in the cloud um, through technologies such as multi-factor authentication, as well as making sure that as we deploy customer environments and deploy application workloads onto the cloud, we look at adopting the best practice in terms of logical partitioning, network segregation, uh, you know, practices, which further enhance uh, cloud security. And of course, it's important to bear in mind that we need to ensure that there's load balancing uh, um, in, the, in the operating environment. And when we do cross cloud uh, platform deployments, uh, making sure that there's no packet losses or data integrity is maintained is central to how we deploy and manage services across platforms. For many organizations using uh, cloud platforms today and cloud, cloud technology, uh, the benefits uh, can be quantified in terms of the, the flexibility, the scalability, the speed of innovation that cloud-enabled uh, environments uh, bring uh, to enterprises. Previously, not, not, not possible. The benefits of shared uh, compute and shared compute resources uh, effectively means that uh, organizations are now able to meter the consumption of their IT resources in a way that is more cost optimized and ensures that organizations do not over invest or over index on IT resources or IT infrastructure as it were. Part of what uh, you know, we see as Vodacom business in terms of the evolution of cloud is how cloud is scaling beyond just being as a, a centralized uh, way of consuming compute, uh, storage and network resources to one that actually is, is morphing into more of a hybrid deployment where <clears throat> both in the data center format, but also in terms of how now computing is moving more towards the edge, not necessarily in a distributed you know, fashion, but as an extension of uh, the, the cloud environment uh, to provide for use cases that require uh, low latency uh, in terms of the application services uh, that are required in, in, in a particular operating environment. A good example of this would be industrial automotive. Uh, typically, robotics that would leverage a certain uh, application services to run a production line do not necessarily need to send all that information back into a centralized data center where all these uh, resources can be consumed, but that compute processing and uh, information 
uh, power resides at the source. And moreover, when you start to extend that into the Internet of Things and how devices and, and these robotics can be automated and, and connected, you start to see the real benefits of what cloud computing brings, uh, brings to the table and doing so in a way that is, that is cost effective for, for most organizations. So the evolution of cloud uh, doesn't stop with just you know, large data centers being built in, you know, across continents in different regions and different territories. Uh, in the world, but it also means that at, at some point we're going to have cloud-like power, computing and processing power residing in very minute devices uh, such as you know CCTV uh, and surveillance equipment or uh, OT equipment in, in the industrial sector or uh, as we, we've started to see uh, driverless vehicles becoming uh, something that was born out of uh, a sci-fi movie but now becoming more mainstream and and requiring the ability to do processing at source as opposed to from a centralized data center so the possibilities and the use cases and the scenarios uh, keep on you know coming up and they keep on emerging and uh, it's exciting to see how this environment is going to evolve going forward of course at the heart of all of this is being able to have very high speed and continuing to uh, to have broadband uh, becoming more pervasive and mainstream uh, so that you know we enable uh, cloud technologies to thrive in in how they can solve for societal uh, challenges these are these are use cases and scenarios that you know previously would have not been possible uh, had it not been for more scalable uh, platforms more uh, you know integrated uh, and, and compute uh, environments as what cloud uh, and edge computing will bring uh, more and more as we go forward.